Hi, I'm Wendy Watson Hollowell, the Belief Coach. Today, I'm going to share with you how our limiting beliefs are formed and how they affect our lives and how belief coaching can help. Early childhood experiences had us make decisions about ourselves in the world. For instance, as babies, when we were hungry or uncomfortable, we learned that if we cried, someone came to help fill our needs. That experience had us decide that it's safe and fulfilling to ask for what we wanted. Yet, if we cried and no one came, we may have decided that asking for what we want doesn't get us what we need. These early experiences helped us make decisions about what's true about ourselves and the world. These thoughts about ourselves and the world form into beliefs over time. And beliefs are just thoughts that we keep thinking until they're true for us. Many beliefs are helpful, and yet our limiting beliefs can generate negative feelings inside of us, and those end up showing up in our vibrational energy field. That energy field sends signals out to the larger field of consciousness, which then manifests experiences that reflect how we feel inside. It's like giving the universe instructions on what we want by telling it what we expect through our beliefs and our feelings. And until we wake up to what's happening, it can be an endless cycle of generating the same internal experience, even if the circumstances change. Here are the top four limiting beliefs that I run across in my coaching work. I'm not enough. I don't matter. I can't rock the boat. And if I do, I have to pay a price. Yet they can only limit us if we believe that they're true. I'm not enough. If I don't think I'm enough, smart enough, experienced enough, important enough, fast enough, old enough, funny enough, articulate enough, etc., I may not feel worthy of sharing my knowledge or that my insights are not of enough value. Yet, when we realize that this isn't really true and that each of us is a work in progress like all human beings, we can relax and start to offer our authentic and creative selves to any situation. What we are learning is as much value as what we are teaching. The limiting belief that I don't matter. If I don't think I matter as much as others, it'll be very hard for me to make my needs a priority in my life, especially if I put other people's needs before my own as a way of being of value in the world. Remember that we are all equal and unique in our perceptions and expression, and it allows us to question if this belief is really true. Each of us is of value exactly as we are, and our insights, our needs, and our contributions are all important. The limiting belief that I can't rock the boat. When our ideas have run counter to our family or our church or school or even our job culture, we learn that it's unsafe to express ourselves. We may have been ridiculed, shamed, or made guilty for not supporting the party line. This belief can lead to indecisiveness and low risk-taking as a general way of staying safe in life. Yet at some point we have to decide that what we learned in our youth is no longer true and that others' reactions to us is about them. It's not a statement of who we are. Not rocking the boat might have been a smart strategy in our youth, yet we have the choice to create safety for ourselves now by focusing on how good it feels to honor our authentic expression. When we do, we change our experience and others tend to respond in kind. I have to pay a price. While well, many of us learned that we couldn't have what we wanted, acceptance, or help, or approval, or love, or authentic expression, pleasure, play, unless we paid a price. And that price might have been having to listen to someone complain, acting grown up, being made wrong, getting less than what we wanted, being criticized, ignoring our values, getting grounded, 
dressing the part. And all of those left us feeling disappointed and powerless. So to take our power back, we get to learn how to ask for what we want and say no to what we don't want, clearly and kindly and without attachment to the outcome. When we remember we can get our needs met from the inside instead of the outside from others, we can stop giving our power away. Through belief coaching, we uncover, challenge, and change the limiting beliefs that are keeping you from your desires. We do that by supporting you to tell the truth about how it really is now. With a new awareness of the underlying beliefs, negative feelings naturally arise and the energy behind them is now free to flow out for good. We work on replacing the limiting beliefs with beliefs that empower you and are true to who you really are. And these new beliefs cultivate positive feelings, feelings of hope, acceptance, courage, willingness, creativity, peace, joy, and eagerness. These positive feelings flow out into the field of consciousness through our vibration and naturally return positive experiences that match the good feelings that we're generating. New beliefs create new results. Belief coaching is a root cause approach to help you reach your goals. Rather than focus on changing your behavior, we focus on changing the underlying beliefs that drive that behavior. Belief coaching helps you to build the skills required to challenge and change the limiting beliefs that keep you from creating what you really want for yourself and for others and for the world. Changing limiting beliefs to ones that work in our favor can be tricky when those beliefs are deeply rooted and hidden from our conscious awareness. Once we uncover and challenge a long-held belief by asking if it's really true, the unexpressed energy linked to it can be released and then we're free to claim a transformed perspective. This new point of view creates an inner alignment between our goals, our new beliefs, and our expectations, naturally inspiring changes in what we do. Those easily translate into the results that we seek. To learn more, feel free to contact me at the email address on the screen. We hope you'll visit our website and use the resources and information there to begin to transform your life by challenging and changing your own limiting beliefs.